Hello, this is Dr. Dalton. I want to show you a couple different stretching moves that we can use for the chest area. We often talk about stretching out the pecs and, um, and shoulders and even the biceps too. There are a couple different ways of doing it. <clears throat> now first yeah, I'll show you one way using the door, using the door jams. I'll go over to the over to the door and my hands will be normally be like this as opposed to against the the door itself. But I'm gonna have my, my forearms are resting on the on the sides of the door and my palms are resting also on the sides of the door. The main thing is that we want to have the arms relaxing up on onto a surface. Okay? In addition, I want you to note that my feet and my feet are gonna be separated out a bit. And it's a it, that a bit is a long way. I got a, a good separation because I'm resting my body weight on the on my feet. I'm not doing a push up or anything. Now I'm going to change direction. I'm going on the other side with this. Just to let me show you what I'm doing. Same idea. Again, I don't like to necessarily use the, the door side because it's a little awkward. Same idea, but the feet are really separated. And from here, it, and this is going to go with all the stretches, is that we have a our feet are almost like they're on a platform. And so the platform is moving. It's a platform we're kind of moving through. We're not bending the torso. We're not bending my hips. So this is not the movement that we're doing. We're doing, going, going forward and backward. Forward and backward. It's not, this is rotation. So, arms up here. And it's almost like they're being stuck to the wall. If we could have Velcro on the forearms and hands, that'd be ideal. Because I want, as in all the CTN stretching, you, the muscle that you're stretching it has to be paralyzed. I, I say that a little tongue in cheek here, but I do not want the muscle to be contracting. Because it's not a muscle stretch, it's a connected tissue stretching. And that's what we're after. We gotta get the connected tissue to get a little bit of load on that connected tissue, and it's gonna stretch it out nice. Okay? But it's done slowly. Same idea. Separate it into here, get it comfortable until when you sense it. And you might sense that stretch maybe in the chest area is where I would expect you to feel it. Let's go to another one. Let's go to a corner one. And this corner exercise is going to be done in, again, same idea, nice wide strength, nice wide stance. Right? The, the body weight's being supported by the legs. In this case, you could do if you wanted to use your forearms and palms. That'd be one way. But I would say maybe use more just your palms only. So you're kind of separated out like, like this. Wide stance for the body weight, because you're not you're not doing a push-up. This is not a push-up. I'm just letting the letting the my hands kind of being stuck to the to the wall. And there's a little bit of tension from the stretch itself that causes the help the help it stick up to the wall. So from here, just like you're on a sled, you just kind of move forward just a little bit until you sense the stretch. And because we have the arms more straight, more of a bend to the arm, you might start to feel more forearm and bicep stretching when you're doing this way. Okay? The more bent of the elbow, then it tends to stretch more of the chest and the shoulder area. But again, wherever you sense the stretch is where you you just maintain that position until it melts away. And by the CTM way of doing it, it's that slow melting that we're, at, we're after. Again, it might take anywhere from you know, 10 seconds to a couple minutes, but it's all based on that slow stretch.